Hello everyone. Well, in this video, we are going to write the J unit using the method which we developed in our previous video. So inside the test package, I am going to add one more class and let me call it as test async client. And here I will add a test method. So public void test client. And the add the test annotation with this method. So for this J unit also the steps will remain same. That means first we are going to post the laptop detail inside the container and then we will verify using the get endpoint. After that we are going to update the laptop detail inside the container and again verify them using the get endpoint. After that we are going to delete the detail of the laptop from the container and I am going to again verify using the get endpoint. So I am going to copy the same piece of code from the test delete and put with SSL test class. And here we need to just modify the type of client which we are using for executing the HTTP methods. So, so here first of all we need to update the endpoint. So the first one is the post endpoint. So this is the URL. And here instead of using the normal client I am going to use the async client. So HTTP async client helper dot perform post request async. So the as I told you the steps remain same only the client is going to change in which we are going to use HTTP async client. After that this will be replaced by the URL of get endpoint. So this is the URL to get endpoint. And also this will be replaced by the async client. So this will be HTTP async client helper dot perform get request get request async the next one is for the put so this are uh, this is the URL to the endpoint and this will be replaced by again HTTP async client helper dot perform put request async and again this is the get endpoint so I'm going to use this line of code and modify here and this will be response equal to after that the next call is to the delete method so the URL to delete method is this one and the client will be the async client so this will replace by HTTP async client helper dot perform delete async dot perform delete request async and again the last call is for the get so I'm going to use this particular line of code okay so now in this case all the endpoints which are getting call is using HTTP async client now I'm going to put a breakpoint over here and run this script in a debug mode So first we'll prepare the header, then we'll make a call. So everything is going as expected. And in the end the test case got passed. And as you can see here, these are the things which is coming from your future callback interface, which we implemented in our request status class 
so if I go here this is the request status class which implement the future callback interface and all these entries are coming from this method which we override in the requested class so that's all for this video and thanks for watching